Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about file managers. So, I've been on a quest for a long time to find a good file manager. When I was a Windows user, I was always looking for something that was alternative to Windows Explorer, because Windows Explorer is kind of bad. Um, and when I moved to Linux, I was like, oh, you know, there's going to be a lot of good open source file managers. You know, it's good... And they're, they're going to have all these options, and we're going to be able to customize things, and it's just going to be, oh, it's going to be so amazing. I've been so disappointed. <laughs> I've just been so disappointed. You're, a lot of people use Nautilus. Not a bad file manager. Heavy, but not a bad file manager. A lot of people use Thunar. Has some quirks, but not a bad file manager. Uh, if you're on Plasma, you use Dolphin. Probably the most customizable of every mainstream file manager out there. And it's fine. It's mostly, you know, as with a lot of KDE stuff, it's kind of a little bloated um, because of all the customization. Uh, but what I've been searching for is a, a non-mainstream file manager that it has dual panes, uh, tab, the ability to do tabs, uh, and I've not found a good one. Now, there are some good ones in the terminal, like Ranger and ViFM and NNN. Those are all pretty good for what they are, but there's times when you really need a GUI file manager. You can't drag and drop out of Ranger. Sadly, you can't. You can't drag and drop out of IFM or NNN. You just can't do that. And when you want to take a file from a file manager and then put it into a browser, you have to drag and drop. That's a that's a, a GUI related uh, operation. And like I said, you can't do those in a, in a TUI. So I've been trying to find, trying and hunting and failing to find really a good. Uh, file manager that allows you to do double dual pane. So let me show you what I'm, I'm talking about when uh, I talk about dual pane. Uh, this is a dual pane file manager. This here is called double command. And it's the only one that I found that actually is A, being still updated, and B, it actually works. Um, there's one out there called Space FM, I think. Uh, it hasn't been updated in like four years. And it crashes every time you try to um, uh, drag something out of it. So that wasn't an option. There was another one called Sunflower, and that one there, you can't you can't draw drag things between one pane and the other pane. And I was like, and what's the point of having a dual pane file manager? It it, it was bad. It's it, it was baffling to me. So that's what I've been doing for the last few days is hunting for a dual pane file managers. Now, you're probably wondering why, Matt, why do you want a dual pane file man manager? Can't you just use tabs? Yes, you can use tabs, but I like to have both things open at the same time. I don't want to have to have multiple windows, so I could I could go through and uh, let's just do here, just do uh, Thunar and Thunar. I could do that. Technically, that's a dual screen file manager. I mean, whatever. And that's not really what I was, you know, really what I was, you know, wanting to do. But I could do that. Um, but I like this. I like it in one application where they're side by side. And I like to have, like, two files open side by side and so I can drag and drop between them. So, like, I have, like, a, my videos tab here, which is on my main hard drive, which is where all my OBS stuff is recorded. As you can see, it's blinking now. That means I'm recording something. Uh, and then... When I'm done with that, I'll transfer it to my, you know, uh, SSD. My so all my videos are still stored on this SSD, which which is you know another hard drive, and I can drag them back and forth between them whatever I need. I don't have to go through and drag them to different tabs. Now I can drag them to tabs because this also has tabs. It has that option. I want that functionality, and this is the only uh, one that I've found that works. Uh, is called double command. I will leave a link to it in the in the sh the descriptions, in the the um video description. And I'll become I'll be hundred percent honest. I don't care for it all that much. <laughs> it's not. It's functional, 
but it's not anywhere near intuitive enough. So it has these little buttons. You wouldn't even know these are buttons. So, but if you wanted to go home, you would just click on this tilde thing, and it'll take you to the home directory. That's great, but it's so small you can't really. I mean, it took me a while to even notice that that was there. Uh, and these other ones here do, uh, you know, different things. And, and if you look at the uh, preferences or whatever, the uh, options, you open this up here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all these options. Now, I understand you want things to be configurable. I love the I love that they have this many options. That's fantastic. Um, it's just that it's not. From what I what I can tell, let me let me see if I bring up a browser here. Uh, I guess I was wrong. It was, it's double commander. This is the, the documentation, which I didn't even know it was here. Um, beginnings, guidelines, and then transfers you over to GitHub, which is good. Um, required tools. So there, It looks like it is fairly well documented, but I don't want to have to dig into documentation to find stuff unless I absolutely have to. I'm a, I'm a dude. I know. <laughs> who, who the hell reads, has time to read instructions? Um, I, like, I don't. Uh, the good news is that, um, that's weird. Apparently they're not hosted on GitHub, but they use GitHub for their documentation. So they, they're hosted on SourceForge, but host their documentation on GitHub. That's a little weird. As you can tell, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not all that happy with it. Um, mostly because it's, it, it's very, very complicated and I'm having to kind of sift sh through it. I also don't care for the 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 interface all that much these little buttons if i want to know what the hell they do i have to hover over them so like you know thumbnails and if we let's just say i go into a picture folder and you know my wall folder here no preview on these in this mode you have to switch over to the thumbnail mode and then they look like this now in a normal file manager if you wanted to go through and do uh you know make things bigger you just you know hit the control button in this mouse wheel or maybe the mouse wheel or maybe control plus none of those work <laughs> you can't make them bigger uh at least that i've been able to find maybe there's a uh like a show no favorites tabs network command mark like here's another thing every program that has a a, a, a a visual different views or whatever has a view menu this one does not have a view menu it doesn't there's no there's no way to do that now maybe if i go into the uh the options here and do um hmm behaviors maybe no i um, this is what i'm talking about things are so all over maybe layout here um no um yeah there appears to be no way to, to zoom in <laughs> and that's really very weird i mean every file manager has the ability to zoom in and i can't figure out how to do it on this i'm not bashing really on double commander i'm thankful that it's actually here because i'm going to continue to use it because i want that desperately want that dual pane functionality <laughs> i wish that space fm was still being updated and had that bug fixed because I like that the the layout of that one much better but like I said the the question I have is where are all the good file managers that aren't the bog standard ones from distros or d desktop environments we have Thunar and Nautilus and Nemo and Dolphin those seems to be the four main ones and those are great if all you want is just a standard file manager but if you want extra options and, and specifically you want the dual pane thing that I want it seems like you're up shit creek basically this is just me ranting and going through and saying this is what I want why isn't there these things that I want greedy little bastard that I am little <laughs> um, but I wanted to talk I was I have a video planned on Double Commander, and I'm going to I'm going to do that because I've only been using Double Commander for a couple days, and I want to go through and troll through all those settings that I showed you and see if I can find you know customize it to the way I want it to you know to the point where it's actually good uh, and stuff because there's just weird functionality where you if you transfer a file between one folder and another it actually 
shows you a big pop up and on a on a display man or on a window manager it tends to make that pop up full screen which is annoying so maybe I'll have to go through and create a DWM rule in order to make that floating or whatever <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt there's just so many things and I just wanted to do this little rant because I we have all these options when it comes to you know video uh, editors and photo editors and all this stuff. But file manager seems to have just kind of gone by the wayside. And we just don't have any good ones now. Maybe it's because they've tried and failed. Like Space FM has obviously been abandoned. Uh, Sunflower or whatever. I don't know if that's still been abandoned or if still being uh, developed on. But it was bad. <laughs> like like if you can't drag between the panes, there was no point in having panes. Um, maybe I was just doing something wrong. It's possible that I was doing something wrong because I only used it for about 20 minutes. And when I realized I couldn't do that and then trolled through the settings for a little while and couldn't find a, a setting to enable it, I was like, well, I'm deleting this off my system. I've had a lot of rants lately, but this is, it's just, where are all the good file managers at, bro? I don't understand what on earth is going on when it comes to file managers on Linux. Um, it, it seems... Nautilus is heavy and doesn't have a lot of options. Uh, Dolphin is heavy and has way too many options. I don't. I'm using a. a I'm using DDM, DWM for a reason. Or even just take the DWM stuff out of it. I'm using a window manager for a reason. I don't want to download all the KDE dependencies that Dolphin would take in order to bring it on. Because for all I know, Dolphin has a, a a dual pane mode. It's possible that it does. I'm not going to download all the KDE dependencies to find out. I, Maybe if I were to download KDE again and use KDE, I did that on my Arco install for a little while. And I also had like 3,000 packages on my system at the, by the time I was done with it. <laughs> KDE just so has all these dependencies, and I don't want that for just one program. So that's not an option. The other day when I reviewed Linux Mint, uh, I got exposed to Nemo for the first time, or maybe the first time in a long time. And it looked okay. It had a, a good option. Uh, I really kind of cooed over the idea that it allowed you to hide the file me file me menu and then be able to bring it back, something that Thunar lacks. I mean, it seems like it's such a simple uh, feature, but I was like, oh, that's kind of awesome, but it, it's too simple. <laughs> so <laughs> that goes the other option, other way, you know, other end of the spectrum for, you know, than Dolphin. And, um, what, oh, um, I guess Mate has something called Kaha. I think that's just a, an old version of Nemo. I, I haven't used that in, in ages because I haven't used Mate in ages. So, really, this is just like I said. This was just rant. Uh, I, I'm on this quest. So, if anybody knows of a dual pane file manager, GUI file manager, that works well, that is still being updated, I don't. I just. I mean, if you, the settings on Double Commander, they're a little bit of a mess, but I'm okay with it. Uh, if the one you recommend has settings like that and they're kind of a mess, I'm okay with that too. But just somebody please tell me that there's one out there that's good because Windows has good ones that are alternatives to Windows File, uh, Windows Explorer, and then you know they're paid and they're closed source, but they're good. Um, now I know that there's a um, let's see, um, there's a closed source one on. Dual pane file manager. There's a closed source one here that OMG Ubuntu. It's called Fman. The problem is I don't want to pay for a file manager. <laughs> I just desperately don't want to pay for. Um, I understand software costs money, but I would rather if I was going to give money to something, I'd rather give it to something that is open source. Um, but I'm thinking about giving this a try. Um, I'd like to see some more screenshots because that screenshot literally does nothing for me. Um, maybe there's some more screenshots here. Uh, but e even then, I want I don't, I don't know if I want to use a closed source one, and I definitely don't want to have to pay for a closed source one. I'll pay for open source software. I will not pay for closed source software unless I absolutely, absolutely have to. So that is uh, it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down uh, if you can su support the channel in any number of ways the best way to do so is to subscribe um, 
You can also uh, support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash or Follow us on Twitter or Facebook and all those things. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.